brief, but I was just wondering if I could ask for some crowd participation. People in favor of this proposition in this room, please raise your hand. Those opposed? It wasn't a binding vote, but the point was made. The five bargaining units that represent Douglas County public employees want to negotiate their contracts privately, as they've done for decades. The county's three elected commissioners want to hold their own vote on whether to open those contract talks to public view. At the end of a hearing Tuesday at the Douglas County Courthouse, the commissioners voted to hold off any decision until July 21st. It's a lot to digest. I think it's actually more than we can digest today in one quick meeting. Under a proposed resolution, Douglas County negotiating sessions would become public meetings, and salary and benefit proposals would be treated as public documents before any contract is ratified. Commissioners say it's in the best interest of taxpayers. I, I think it's more of a, a sign of the times that we see coming this way. We're seeing uh, these types of negotiations happening in various states, uh, several counties within Washington state. And uh, from a, a, a public official's position, I just like the idea of transparency. Unions, including Ask Me and the Teamsters, represent more than 200 Douglas County employees, including administrative staff, sheriff's deputies, and highway crews. Members say the Douglas County Initiative is part of a statewide effort to weaken unions' bargaining power. This isn't accidental. And it's not organic. It's driven by the Freedom Foundation. It's template policy legislation following the American Legislative Exchange Council. Your constituents didn't bring this your direction. The Freedom Foundation, a well-funded Olympia nonprofit, has helped introduce similar draft legislation in small Washington cities, including Chelan. It's also promoted ordinances adopted in Lincoln, Kittitas, and Franklin counties, as well as the city and county of Spokane. The Lincoln County Ordinance is the subject of a lawsuit that may reach the state Supreme Court. The Freedom Foundation is taking on 100% of the litigation costs in Lincoln County as well. So at least that portion of the costs are not uh, affecting Lincoln County. The litigation is fact-specific in Lincoln County, so regardless of whatever outcome does or does not come from the Lincoln County case, it may or may not have any impact on any other local government in the state. In part, Sutton said, delaying the vote may allow more time for the Lincoln County court case to wrap up and give Douglas County more guidance. Jefferson Robbins, NCW Life.